focus on European financials, which have outperformed U.S. financials by 10 percentage points. Low price to cash flow companies, including financials, are outperforming. European banks have been a poor investment over a 5 to 20 year period due to fiscal austerity, but a new cycle means new leadership and encouraging economic data. German IFO data shows improving economic momentum. Concerns will shift to inflation and growth being too strong rather than a financial crisis. Low price to cash flow and international equities are worth considering. The European Bank Stock Index has dropped 75% from its 2007 peak, with many big banks trading below book value. Negative interest rates have hurt European banks, and having some of the yield curve in positive territory would be beneficial. European energy companies are trading at half the value of US ones. Energy and financials were the worst performers in 2023, while tech and services outperformed. First citizen stock is up 50%, indicating potential for MA within small and regional banks to cure the ills of badly managed banks. Blanket coverage on uninsured deposits is not necessary. Despite government intervention and regulation following the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, uncertainty remains about whether book values accurately reflect asset costs. First citizens paid a discount to acquire assets in a recent rescue, causing concern for regional banks. Analysts downgraded Caterpillar shares due to headwinds in U.S. non-residential construction, which could be further impacted by the regional bank crisis and slow down construction activity, affecting companies like Caterpillar and United Rentals. We are in a rolling recession with manufacturing and trade struggling, but construction, retail, and services are doing well. The focus should be on companies with strong current cash flow and a low price to cash flow ratio across sectors and countries. Tech may work if the Fed cuts interest rates.